Britain, AD 673. Camelot has fallen. The jealous Sir Mordred has broken the fellowship of the Round Table. The Knights of Arthur has scattered and all hope seems lost. Who will keep the dream of Camelot alive? Hello one and all, this is Luckless Lovelocks and welcome to Pendragon. Pendragon is a turn-based strategy game where every move we make drives the narrative and every story twist opens up new gameplay opportunities. I'd like to thank Inkle, the developers of 80 Days, which is on the channel as well, and more recently Heaven's Vault for the copy of Pendragon to play with all of you. And you can find a link uh, to the Steam page in the description if you're interested in picking it up for yourself. It comes out uh, the day of uh, this video's release. So we get to pick who we start out as. Um, we could start as Queen Guinevere of Camelot, the gracious wife of Arthur, unfaithful and yet ever loyal. Sir Lancelot du Lac, Arthur's chivalrous best friend and traitor to him. And it looks like we've got some interesting characters to unlock as well as we play through the game. So let's just begin from the left and work our way to the right with Queen Guinevere. I've actually been looking forward to this for a while. It looks like a really cool idea. Sunset on the first day at the nunnery of the Holy Bell. Lightning flashes through high, narrow openings. For a moment, it illuminates the face of a disgraced Queen Guinevere who kneels in silent prayer. Then a moment later, she's on her feet. It is as though her name has been called from across the length of Britain. The nunnery of the holy bell, sunset on the first day. Arthur, Arthur, I'm coming. Okay, so we're gonna be playing through a bit of a tutorial here. Looks like we've got some hearts. We've got the portrait of Guinevere. She's got a spear, pace. Characters move across the board one square at a time. Try moving forwards. Okay. Owning squares. As characters move across the board, they take ownership of the squares they pass through. So I guess that's why these are colored red. The nunnery of the Holy Bell has sheltered Guinevere since her escape from Camelot, but she cannot stay. Can I click on this? I guess the um, locations are highlighted. Doesn't look like I can click on it. My lady, what are you doing? Oh, so now we move. Okay. Sister Roswin, I have to go. Go? But my lady, where will you go? Mordred and Arthur. They are to meet one last time. And their battle will decide the fate of the kingdom. A battle? Whatever do you mean? Change stance. Change to diagonal stance. In diagonal stance, you can't attack. But you will claim nearby territory as you move. How oh, cool. Characters change stance to move diagonally across the board. Arthur is to meet Mordred at Camlan in the far north. There have been rumors of it, even here. Backed off. I'll have to tell the abbess. Abbess? I don't know. I don't think I've ever pronounced that word before. Be like Abby and S. Okay. Okay. So I guess we want to go across. Do we fill in her space? Scouting. Diagonal steps also take ownership of touching squares. I see. So the other one is like a combat stance, and this diagonal one is a scouting stance. Don't tell the abbess. No one must know where I'm going. Please, Sister Rosalind. You asked too much of me. You mustn't think about these things anymore. You're with God now. Get ready to run. Characters can run forwards through territory they own, but only in linear stance. 
Mordred has an army. And Arthur has none. He fights alone. I cannot let him die like that. This is going to be the two of you? You're determined to go with him? You must really love him. Make some progress. Try running forwards through the squares you own. Oh, I see. So we just get to skip this one because we own it. Cool. I'm leaving as quickly as I can. I have no choice, Sister Roswin. He is my husband. Then may God go with you, Guinevere. And I won't tell the abbess anything. With that, the young nun turns and hurries from the hall. Moving on. Step to the exit to complete the level. I will not leave Arthur to die alone. Looks like we turned everything red also. I do not love him. I still love him. So here we get to make a choice. Hmm. What kind of story do we want to tell? I find this to be a little bit more interesting. So let's go with I do not love him. I do not love him. I, I never did. But I will not leave him to the wolves. Guinevere's core story. I don't love Arthur. I never did. That gets us a new ability. Attack diagonally. Attack in diagonal stance. So I think if we pick the other choice, we're going to get a different ability. I have no idea what it is. My first time playing the game. Sunset on the first day. Convent stables. The stable yard is drenched in rain. The nuns are busy observing vespers. The stable hands have gone home to their children in Avon's village. There is no one to see Guinevere slip away. I need to steal a horse. Higher ground. Guinevere is on higher ground. From here, she can move in any direction. Oh, okay. So it says from higher ground, you can move off in either stance. Okay. Attack and diagonal stance. Special moves require resolve. Where is resolve located? I don't see it. Morale determines the resolve you start each level with. Huh, there's our hearts. Got settings. Take a screenshot. I've never stolen anything before. It's exciting. Morale. Your morale went up. Morale is shown top left. Up here. And it will keep you fighting when the odds are against you. Morale falls over long battles. If it reaches zero, you will flee. So is this how much morale we have? Like, where the tip is? The abbess will pray for my forgiveness, I hope. Then Guinevere freezes. She has heard movement from across the yard. There's someone here. I wouldn't say that out loud. So we, we're not, we don't have high ground anymore because we've gone down. Definitely something here. Creeping through the dark? Ooh. It's a wolf or something. A wolf, perhaps? Loose in the abbey? Ooh, the music's picking up. Hold your nerve now, Jenny. Don't be afraid. Retreat. Sometimes retreat is the best option. Uh, so I should move back? To the high ground, I guess? Ooh, look at that! Oh, ten! It is only the aged convent hound, ten. Left on chain to wander the grounds at night. You startled me! Wait, are you still gonna attack me? Um... Oh! 
Am I being attacked? Oh, I see. I see. You can confirm it. This is ridiculous. Little creature, I am the Queen of Britain. And you? You're a dog. A little yappy dog. Actually, it's a pretty freaking big dog. And if I have to, I will run you through. The spear flashes. Tan whines pitifully and dashes away. Oh, so I guess if we had moved forward and attacked him, he's gone. I suppose I'm on my own after all. If we had moved forward to attack, we would have had to have fought. Very interesting. I'm coming, Arthur, as fast as I can. I feel like a little girl sneaking out. Climbing the hill behind our castle to watch the soldiers. The way forward. Exit from a location is always the far corner of the board. If you can reach it, you can leave safely. Okay. Guess I can go to exploration mode. I could have married any of them, but I had to choose Arthur. Let's take that territory. There are the horses. Guinevere hurries over to Meadow, who is, who is cropping at a nosebag. She smiles with a cold delight. Steady now, Meadow. It's only me. We gained two rations. Meadow's saddlebag contains some bread and cheese, enough for two rations. I'll need your sure-footedness, Meadow. This road ahead leads into Coed Carn Wilfa. Wildwoods. People used to travel that way to reach the nunnery of the Holy Bell. Find your way through the dark for me, Meadow. Ooh, there's like a an, an over overall map. Avon's village. Or Coedcarn e Wilfa. We have a choice. I guess we're gonna we're kinda being sneaky, right? So let's go to the to the forest? Does it, I, I assume every time we move, needed for each party member at dawn, yeah. So every day we're gonna have to consume rations. The forest bordering Avon's village. Or can we go south? Oh, or we can go... Oh, we came from the nunnery, right. We don't want to go back. Let's go here. The forest. Daybreak on the second day. It has been hours since Compline, and Guinevere is hungry from the road. Oh, I see. So we could decide not to eat. And our morale goes down. Strong. I think I'm going to ride on. We'll save our food, because we only have two. Whoa, we're okay, we're dead. We're in the water now. <laughs> and our story was over. Guinevere drowned. Daybreak on the second day. In Co Coed Karn Iwilfa. Between convent stables and Avon's village lies the dark sprawl of Coed Karn Wilfa. I'm sh I have no idea how to pronounce that. An ancient forest full of strange things. And Guinevere rides on in. Can't freaking see anything. I'm free. Disarmed. In diagonal stance, you yeah, yeah, I got you. Can't attack. The sisters at the convent were kind enough, but I'm hardly the type to make a good nun. I think we're gonna keep exploring, right? Oh, I have to... No, I have to change directions. I have to change stance, sorry. Good nuns don't have Norman lovers. I wonder where you are now, Lancelot. Oh, a bear. Use the squares you own to move forward more quickly. I'll take to the high ground. Only forward. Hero characters can only charge to the right towards the end square. 
Enemy characters can only charge to the left away from the end square. So I couldn't have charged that way, although it looked like I could. I guess that is t still towards the end square. The nuns always said there were things in these woods. <laughs> Love the sound. It seems they weren't just telling stories to keep the younger sisters inside. Okay. Let's, let's move forward. Now then. Not too hard to trick a bear. Stay calm and let them come to you. Oh, there's two of them. What a pity. Now there's two. Hold your nerve. You can hold to pass a turn without moving, but hold too long and your morale will suffer. Oh, there's a resolve there below. And that's our morale, okay. Special abilities. Um, I wonder if I could just run past them. Is that a turn to change stances? It is. Don't get tangled in your own feet, Jenny. So this one's moving that way. Okay, I think I'm going to change stance. Guinevere slips her spear into her stronger hand. I'm ready for you, bears. The rain shows no signs of stopping. Here we go. You're a brute, aren't you? Attack! Time to strike! Move on to the bear to remove it from the battlefield. Oh, is it just one hit? Strike! <sighs> Guinevere cuts down the bear and it thumps to the forest floor. We got the achievement first blood. Now I could... What if I move back? Let the bear come forward. Slow and steady now. Slow and steady. Now can I charge? Charge attack. Yes. <laughs> this is the far edge of the trees. A look of relief breaks across Guinevere's face. Gain two more rations. The mushrooms and roots of the forest provide two extra meals. I should have consumed the rations on the first day. I'm better off where I can do some damage. I recognize this road from the maps. It leads to Luin Jarwid Castle. It's said that Sir Kay resides there now. My brother-in-law. Not the best sword arm, but I'll take what I can get. Ride me safely there, Meadow. I have need of his loyalty now. So we're gonna get, uh... We're gonna get some support. Carb... Uh... Carbonic Fen. And the castle. So with the Fen, it says... A thicket of reeds rattling in treacherous mudflats. Or the castle. Sir Kay the Tenacious Warrior still has a seat here. I think that's a smart idea. Let's go there. Quietly now. I don't want to be stopped. I don't want to have to hurt anyone. I'm going to go with I don't want to have to hurt anyone. Don't have to hurt anyone. Morale's okay. Is there like a time... There's nothing that keeps track of the time, eh? Midday on the second day at Lwyn Diarwid Castle. The path winds between rocks as it climbs the hillside to the castle. On one bend, it passes a low opening, roughly cut into the stone, no larger than what a child could climb down into. It is the entrance to an old mine. A blue-silver gleam flashes from deep within. Somewhere to shelter, perhaps, if the rain gets worse. 
Guinevere hurries quickly past and on towards the castle that I can't pronounce. Sir Kay, are you here? Uh oh. Oh, it looks like there's some resolve squares. The doors of this place have been broken. More bears. Uh, okay, so they're either going to move there or there. Okay. Can't. I don't want to move here because I'll get attacked. I don't know what kind of like. I don't know what result. What if they pick up these resolves? I don't know what that what effect that will have. I'm going to move here, and then I'm going to change stance. <sighs> here it comes. So I could I could use the diagonal attack here. Yeah. Special ability allows you to surprise enemies with a diagonal attack. Ha! <laughs> a final stroke is enough to bring the bear to the floor. With the bear dead, the hall is clear. Guinevere shoulder, uh, shoulders her spear. This way, Meadow. Wait, we're still on the horse? Sir Kay is out there somewhere, and I will find him. Nothing and no one is going to stop me. I will reach Camlin, whatever the cost. So this is just a random encounter on the way? Story change. I will be there at the end. Vault obstacle or fall back? Hmm. I feel like she's more of the type of character that will like draw someone in and then strike. Treat multiple squares across owned territory. Oh no, I couldn't get those. Hmm. I didn't think it would just end like that. Oh, I see. They weren't at the castle. Hmm. So we've got the crag. The shadows of creatures flicker in and out of the grass. The marsh of the black ladies. A figure moves between the long grasses. Big black birds turn in the air over the village. Dinas, Dinas Armanac. Huh. I want to check out the marsh. Why would we go there, though? Seems like ultimately we would want to get to the village. The village, but there's black birds overhead. Could go to the fen. I want to check this out. The Marsh of the Black Ladies. Can I? So this is overall. Oh, neat. The Fortress of the Birds. A powerful stronghold controlled by a quiet lady. Oh, I like how the, um, it like rolls over the hills. Wow, this is actually huge. Like quite a big map. Looks like there's ships on the side too. Okay, let's go. Let's check out the, the marsh. Maybe we can go to a ship or something. Ride, Jenny. Ride as fast as you can. I wonder if you do get other, like, companions, though. The evening of the second day. In the marsh of the Black Ladies, wind sifts through endless grasses, as if searching for lost treasure. A gentle mist hangs above the water. It's a long way to Camelon, Jenny. Further than Camelot, even. And you don't have Bedweir to guide you this time. A thief? Or is that one of the ladies? Oh, shoot. We already control this square, so let's... I don't know if I want to be there. 
Let's, let's stay to the high ground. At least if anyone is looking for me, they'll lose my trail here. Mm. Dog or wolf. I could go here, but I'm concerned that they'll be able to attack me corner-wise. I don't know what I'm up against. Let's move here then. If anyone has even noticed that I've gone... This is our place. Oh, that was probably more like, this is our place. Fight or flight. Guinevere can look for an opening or else she must flee. I think I've got to move back. Aha! You! I've seen you before. You're from the castle, aren't you? Which castle? Stay back now. Uh, uh, which castle? The Keep of Melis. You don't know the castle? Are you lost? Uh, okay. They have a dagger. I think I'm going to hold. Maybe, maybe I don't have to kill them. You, you live out here. Listen to that. No one can live out here, lady. In this muck? We survive, is all. Morale in danger. After a time, your morale will begin to ebb when you play defensively. Morale hits zero, your heroes will flee. I guess I have to attack. Oh, or I could flee. Hold. I guess I'm gonna attack. Or I could, maybe I could go past? Let's attack. Arrgh! <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Shoulders her spear, she calls for her horse. Now to get out of this bog and put the nunnery of the holy bell behind me. Okay, but what about the, uh, what about the dog? Okay, I'm kind of confused at how this works. So, oh, there's the keep. The sinking barrows of Maris. The woods of Arkan. Horses tied on the edge. A horse is tied on the edge of the woodland. A long abandoned place. A lonely tower on a hill. And this castle might be somewhere I could wait out the night. Maybe we can go down here. Let's go to the keep. So I don't really understand 100% how it works. I just assumed we had to get to the exit. But I guess there we had a choice. We could run or kill that person. Morale super low. Should have eaten. The second night at the Keep of Melis. The stones at the Keep of Melis jut up from the uh, heather covered slopes at crazy angles. Guinevere picks her way between broken beams and fallen pillars. It is as though a once proud castle had been blown over in a storm or swept aside by the stroke of a dragon's wing. This place seems deserted. I hear rats. I'm gonna guess that they're gigantic, multicolored rats, but we'll see. I'd like to head to high ground. I know you're out there. <laughs> A rat has caught the scent of Guinevere. Guinevere is in danger as the rat attacks diagonally. Ah, but if we move here, won't be able to attack. There were always rats in Camelot. We never talked about it, Arthur and I. But they would run up and down the curtains at night. Yikes. They weren't the only rats in Camelot we tried to ignore. 
Ah, uh, smart. Backed off, eh? Can we go around? Oh. The hall rings with the gentle chime of chainmail. Please, I need shelter. The knight panics, raising his hatchet to shield his face. Just then, there is a great shout. Someone is riding into view. Who's there? My name is Sir Kay. I was left for dead, but I am not dead. Nice. <laughs> nice mustache, Sir Kay. Is this, uh, was this our, uh, brother-in-law? Core story. I have come through death. Choose an ability. Charge across or run through. Three. Three resolve. Huh. I like, I like charge across because we could combine that with, like, backing off. Possibly. If we're in a tough situation, we back off and then we charge up to an enemy. But then running through could put us into a really good spot. Oh, it's his, it's his ability. I'm gonna go run through. Move one step further after a capture. Charge to the far side of the board. Hmm. After, a, so a capture is when you, when you kill someone, I guess. I don't think we have to control that territory to do this. I need to charge across. Who will act? You now control multiple characters, but only one may move per turn. Choose wisely. Neat. Okay, so we can't move both of them. And it shows you the abilities they have. Scratch. Oh. <laughs> now let my sword be of assistance. That was probably... Oh, I could do another attack. I believe scratching was what the rat was doing. <laughs> not, not what he was saying. Huh, should I attack again? They can't attack me. If I move there, I'd be, I'd be attackable. So I think we attack... Attack again. Sir Kay swings again, sending another rat to the dirt. Uh, well met, Guinevere. Um, okay. Let's get that resolved. Greetings, knight. I am Queen Guinevere of Camelot. Now tell me. What is your name, good knight? Uh, I am Sir Samson. You want to know where I stand? Uh, how I see things. Is that it? Then know this. I am your worst enemy. If I let Sir Knight, if I let the Knight of Sir Mordred strike me down, Sir Kay, they'd be ready to avenge me. A noble sacrifice. Captured Knights are removed from the board and lose one heart. Knights are only killed if they have no hearts left. Or if the party flees after they have fallen. Okay. Remove from the board, lose one heart. Knights are only killed if they have no hearts left. Okay. Is K considered a captured knight? Guinevere wants to sacrifice herself for a tactical advantage. Wait, why? Sir Sampson. Linear stance. Can charge uh, forward through owned squares and attack. It's the nearest opponent. Why would I do that? That doesn't seem very smart. Let's just move back. You can't intimidate me. I've done things that would turn your hopes.
wants to. Okay. Your lord is an asshole. <laughs> this country has made its choice. It is time you accepted that. Okay. Careful now. I bear a command from Sir Mordred. Oh shit. Oh, I screwed up. Oh. Uh... Okay. So you are no true knight. Merely an errand boy. This is not the end. Mordred will want to see you die himself. But know this. In the north, in the waste beyond Gringham Moor's slopes, Arthur will die at Camlin. For Mordred! Oh, they ran. That's really interesting. So, because she didn't do her thing, does that mean that... We lost some morale? It's okay. I have found a way through. A path, as we thought. Guinevere lets out a sigh of relief. Let us rest here for the night. We should not waste time here. Let's rest, I think. Let us rest here for the night. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> that scared me! <laughs> so amongst the stones of the Keep of Melis, Guinevere throws a dry log onto the fire and holds out her hands for warmth. Should I tell you a tale? Oh, I get to decide for him, too. Fine night for a story, don't spoil a good day. It's a fine night for a story. What then would you prefer? A story of a valuable lesson or a tale of a name? What's in a name? I'll try to remember it right. And in the crackling firelight, Guinevere begins her tale. Once I was crossing the mountains through a forgotten pass, at sunset, I reached a cromlich, a stone arch ten feet high and five feet wide. Uh, sounds like a good roof to rest under. I didn't really read that the uh, tutorial because I didn't want to miss the story. Such places are usually haunted by fairies. Such places are usually haunted by fairies! This was no exception. Around it lay a dozen shattered skeletons. I was looking for another path when the last light of day fell on one skeleton in rusty armor. Standing something or rather. I read too slowly. Standing? On two fleshless legs. The skeleton in the armor seemed oblivious to me. It took a faltering step toward the cromlich. Then the walls of the pass shook and stone figure out and a stone figure with a stone axe emerged. The skeleton exclaimed, Let me pass. But the stone figure with its stone axe and its stone voice replied, Where no one can pass, who are you to want to pass? The skeleton answered? The skeleton replied in its voice of dusty bone, I am Lord Erwin, son of Itwin, and I swear that I shall pass. And the stone guardian cut his head off. Ah, like that? Just like that. But immediately the skeleton lifted its head from the ground, put it back in place, and claimed its right of way again. And again he lost his head. And again, and again, and again. The fight never even began. The skeleton never got so far as raising its rusty sword. How tenacious! I approached the skeleton. I waited for it to reassemble. And before he tried to pass again, I said to him, 
Why don't you tell him that you are no one? Maybe then he'll let you through? Clever. But the skeleton in rusty armor replied to me thus. I will not say I am no one. Because I am Lord Erwin, son of Udwin, and I swear that I will pass. And so the stone guardian cut his head off again. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Gringamore slopes. I see. So we can head back from where we came, or we can go to the sinking barrows of Maris, or the woods of Arkan. A long abandoned place. There's no road to the sinking barrows of Maris from here. Oh, I see. These paths look quiet enough. We can't actually go there. We'd, ha we'd have to go back. We can go to the woods of Arkin. A horse is tied on the edge of the woodlands. And I don't think I have any other options to the east. Let's go to the woods. We spent the night here, so we have a fresh day. I assume that uh, we're going to... There will be an event for, uh, for Dawn. Sunrise on the third day. Let's do that. We have two rations left. We need to increase morale, so I think that's a good idea. Beautiful. I like that we've got that to manage as well. It's not just like health. It's also like we're adventuring and imperiling ourselves. Sunrise on the third day in the woods of Arkan. There was a path into the woods of Arkan. Or Arch, I don't know. Perhaps there was once even a road. No longer. Now the brambles have joined hands to block the way, letting no one through without paying their toll in scratches and torn cloaks. The pair fight their way through, step by step. They are exhausted before they even reach the dark clearing between the trees. Who will lead? You can choose which of your party will be the first onto the field of battle. I guess Sir Kay. This is the fastest road to the village of Lucan. We should be on our guard. Things move about amongst the trees. So these are definitely like bandits. Yeah, the gruff rogue. So you can click on them. I noticed that last time you click on them to see what they actually are. Diagonal stance, owns adjacent squares, cannot attack. Big, can smash down bushes. Wait, they can't attack? So I just killed someone that couldn't attack me? I can't see beyond all these trees. Well now. You see my fancy sword, don't you? Maybe you've got a few rings on you, that sort of thing? Party in danger. The Gruff Rogue is aiming to attack your home square and kill Guinevere. Oh, okay. So let's change stance. Is this really necessary? Bloodshed then? You don't look like you're from around here. Interesting, the things you happen upon in a place like this. Do I attack? <laughs> Sir Kay swings fast and hard at the rogue's sword arm and blood spews forth. Oss! Now I will have to kill you. You were supposed to fall easy. We came at you to eat, not to fight. This is not somewhere I want to be on my own. I want Guinevere with me. Reinforcements. Your knights can work together on the board. Try bringing Guinevere into the field. 
Should I have done that? Oh, man. Oh, did that, did that cost one? You should expect to be wounded. Did that cost us one resolve? Flee or I will be knocking you down. Diagonal defense. Changing to diagonal stance. Paints the squares around you. This can prevent an enemy's line of attack. Oh, cool. Because they can charge. Hunts the nearest opponent. Can charge forwards through own squares and attack. It's so I... So is it because we attack them that now they're trying to kill us? Very interesting. I will not just leave here alive! I don't know what, what words just came out of my mouth, but they were kind of approximately what, what they said. Okay, okay. Let's get Guinevere in here. I will get you, I will! So I think it costs us one resolve to get Guinevere in, but I'm not 100% sure. Mm, I don't know if I want to go in the water. Changing. Okay. You're Mordred's men, are you? Who's Mordred? We work for ourselves. If I move here, I could get attacked. Aha! You don't understand. The people in my village have nothing. It's a trap. Sometimes an easy capture comes at a price. Oh, because they're going to charge in? So instead, I can move here. I don't think so, Gruff Rogue. Ah. And now we can defend ourselves from the charge. I want what you have. Hmm. I can't attack them. I could move back. I thought I had... Do I not have the diagonal attack anymore? Hmm. Hmm. We shall move back. This isn't the time for overconfidence. We change stats. So if I move here, they neither one will be able to attack me. I am a knight of Camelot. I fly the banner of King Arthur. If you fight me, you fight against the land itself. This country's fighting itself. That's what I heard. Times like these, it's everyone for themselves. Do I attack? I fear I must. <laughs> Nuts! Now I will have to kill you. That was my friend you killed, you dog. Uh, change sense. Huzzah! Sir Kay, have you heard any news of Lancelot? It's, it's, we just murdered someone and they're like, you just killed my friend. We're like, Sir Kay, have you heard any news of my love? Hmm. Has Lancelot not caused you enough harm? Perhaps. Whoa! Oh, damn. Ah, uh, shoot. I need to move back again, I guess. Kind of regretting grabbing this flea. Back! Our, our uh, morale, though, is going down. 
Do not harm me, rude rogue. And watch what you have. Oh, I don't have enough to charge across. This feels like a bad idea. I think I changed stance. Perhaps the only way forward is through? You won't catch me, you won't. Ah. If I charge here. Arr! Maybe I can just get to the edge? We'll flee. Shit. Guinevere, what are you doing? Get away then! The last rude rogue races away. Oh, that was pretty close. Guinevere, shoulders or spear? That was actually, we almost lost all of our uh, morale. We are unharmed. We gained a ration. Okay. The berries and nuts of the forest provide one extra meal. And for the first time since leaving the nunnery of the Holy Bell, Guinevere feels hope. God is on our side, Sir Kay. I know it. Sir Mordred's brief time is coming to an end. And you and I will be the ones to end it. Do we get some morale? Because it's pretty awfully freaking low. Castle Gorset. Several riders have come this way recently. I think someone's ridden this way recently. Black? Uh, we can't get there. Do I have a path? Okay. Let's go. Ah, uh, we got morale back. We grew up chasing uh, each other around fields like this, Arthur and I. There was a forest nearby too, but we never dared it. But the moors, the moors were ours. I couldn't tell who was talking there. Like how it zooms in for the conversation. It's cool. The camera keeps moving around. It's a really, really neat game. It's kind of a different style of uh, 80 days where you're on this, like, you can travel on different paths, but you have, like, these goals and these encounters and stuff like that, but there's a little more gameplay to this one. Afternoon on the third day at Castle Gorset. Warm rain begins to fall. The road has been battered by many hooves. The doors of Castle Gorset have been pulled roughly from their hinges. An army has ridden this way, and recently, Mordred's men must be gathering close by. It'd be nice to get some of this resolve. Please, I need shelter. Guinevere? You have blundered into Castle Gorset. You will not stumble out. Ooh. We don't get to choose this time. Guinevere leads. What way lie your loyalties, knight? Are you loyal to Arthur? The knights of Castle Gorset are loyal to the crown. And to the king. And that king is Sir Mordred. I'd like to change something. Um... Confirm moves rarely. I don't really need to confirm. I, I think long and hard about it. Okay, what kind of moves do they have? Linear stance. Can charge forwards through own squares. Diagonal stance. Owns adjacent squares and cannot attack. Oh, right. No one can attack when they're in diagonal. Except she could. And I, I guess I replaced her ability or something. I'm confused by that. Water. Neither side can charge through water. Water squares can't be claimed. Oh, is that th that's uh, this spot here? Are you scared, Guinevere? You should be. 
Guard your home square. Beware, the Knight of Sir Mordred can kill party members not yet on the board by capturing your flag. Oh, I see. It does have the icon on there. The resolve icon. Okay. Let's capture this square. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Would you not prefer to join us than to die? I'm going to bring... No, I'm going to move over here. Wait, why is it asking to confirm? This place is the last fortress on the road to Camelot. My lord wishes Arthur to die alone. I will not let you pass. The end is nigh. You have discovered the location of Camelot. Oh, neat. So I could just run this guy through. Like, what, what were you thinking? <coughs> that was a dumb move. You have raised your sword for cruelty for the last time. It says, achievement unlocked. Recruit. I'll get you. I think I hold. If I move there, I'll get attacked. Is it going to be dumb enough to move forward? Please. You can you cannot beat Sir Mordred. You cannot put out a fire with horse piss. <laughs> if I move forward, he's going to attack. I think uh I could change stances. If I move forward, yeah. Could change the answers or I can move back. Or I could bring him aboard. There is justice in, justice in this world. Be certain of it. It is slow, but it cannot be avoided. And it will crush you in the end. Oh! You have lost, fool. Your way is over! Um, shoot. I can flee. No, I can... No. I'd have to move back here. Careful now. There may only be one left, but it only takes one wound to bleed an ox. Drive me away, and we will return tenfold to destroy you. Uh, shoot. Okay. If I switch stances... I'm ready. I will not let you leave here alive. Wait, can they charge? If I go to here, they'll be able to hit me. I hope you see what a fool you look one day. Oh, I can charge him now, can't I? Oh, he's got the high ground. I think I'm going to bring him aboard. Sir Kay, I require your assistance. Oh, you're in trouble now. Okay. Sir, okay. Yes. Kind of, it's kind of chessy. Oh, I didn't see what that said. You have no choice. You will succumb. Ah. Sir Kay wants to sacrifice himself for a tactical advantage. 
like move here or no move here I could try just to see what it's like be attacked if I move here this may hurt Sir K and then so how does it work do they get they take one damage and they get moved back let's just see what happens just this is a learning experience how could you call yourself a knight when you have no honor no more morals than a worm enough do not try to reach Kamlin we will not warn you again with that the knight of Sir Mordred gives a yell and strides away Guinevere Sh that was an interesting encounter, so he didn't want to attack us. There's no time to waste. The pair take to the road together, so we found the way forward. Camlin. Ooh, can I go straight there? The village of Lucid. I don't think I can, right? We have to go like, we can go to the village. Shields and axes hang from a spiked palisade around the village. Powerful stronghold controlled by a quiet lady. We should be heading for Camlin, not away from it. Okay. Let's do it. This way. So I guess maybe the it's not like that long to play through one game. Like maybe it's like an hour or hour and a half or something. That would be cool. Because it would be kind of neat to do like one of these every day. And the next one would be faster because they wouldn't have to go through the tutorials. Late afternoon of the third day in the village of Lucan, the rain has dispersed into a thick haze. The winding road into the village of Lucan is marked with tattered flags. Uh, some show some show old protections. The wheat sheaf, the two ravens, but most display the black cross on the white something or rather. I missed that. Do not read fast enough. So who do I want to choose? Sir K. Anyone about? Oh. This country has been sleeping too long. Sir Mordred brings the dawn. He will set us free. So I guess this, this determines if we're going to be in diagonal stance or in... Uh, horizontal stance I think right if we move here free <laughs> what do you want to be free from will Sir Mordred free you from justice from hope from the burden of a safe country ruled by laws and not force of arms is your Arthur a good king all we saw from Arthur were taxes all we saw was a fine castle with fine high walls Sir Mordred walks among us, talks to us, more than you would ever do. The gates of Camelot were always open. People came to us every day, rich, poor, old, young. Those in need and those with plenty. But never us. Uh, hmm. Then you have missed your chance to see greatness. Goodness. And that's the honest truth. We had another like you through here. Some vagabond. We beat him to within an inch of his life. We can show you the same courtesy. Let's bring Guinevere. Guinevere! Help me! We're in Mordred's country now. Ah, a third. Is that the queen? I'll have your allegiance. Look around, your time is over. I can't see them, but I don't think he can attack me. 
Because he's diagonal stance, right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that! I meant to change his stance. You should ride with us to Camlin and support our true king. I won't ask again. It's too late for all that. We're Mordred subjects now. I really screwed that one up. <laughs> uh, well, I can still change stance. But this, yeah, this one is, is still uh, diagonal. You'll regret your loyalty to Mordred. Sooner, later, you will. Oh. We'll crush you, every last one of you. The Gruff Villager. Hunter. Okay. Can charge forward through squares. Okay. Yeah. To be expected. It seems it was a homely place once. This is our home. Should I move up here? I get attacked if I move here. I'll get attacked if I change stance. I think I want to go stay back here. Let us pass, villagers. In peace as friends. You're not one of us. You're one of them. Okay, if I attack this guy, he's going to counter me, right? Oh, I can't. I won't be able to charge. Let's move... I could go diagonal. I could go diagonal. But then what am I going to do afterwards? I could move here, but then I'm probably going to get s surrounded, right? Let's see what happens. I'm a traveler, nothing more. I thought that would happen. And to where do you ride? I am Guinevere. And I ride north to join the king. Enough of this. Unleash the dogs on them. Whoa. Oh dear, no. Oh shit. Oh shit. I didn't expect that to happen. Sacrifice himself for a tactical advantage. I want to fight. <laughs> I'm leaving this place. Ah, uh, a dog strikes in reply, and Sir Kay collapses. Sir Kay, Sir Kay. Time to do my duty by him then. So it takes them off the field and they lose one heart. Okay, so that's what they meant earlier on. All right. I will kill you for that dog. Snarl. <laughs> yes, I agree. Let's change stats. The end means escape. If you can reach the far side of the battlefield, your enemies will flee. Your fallen heroes may yet survive. Okay. The road goes on from here. Camlin must be close. Whining, the dog turns about and flees. Why would that make our morale fail? I think I see the way through. Now this dog's running. Sir Kay murmurs from where he lies. Then he picks himself to his feet. You are still with us, Sir Kay. Bless you, Guinevere. Ah, you saved my life. It is my duty. We must save each other. If we fall, we will fall together. Cool. 
Morale went up again. To Camlin! Where Arthur and Mordred are to meet. This is it. I wonder if we unlock his story. Although I guess we're experiencing his story, right? Huh. I think those those other people might have been talking about Lancelot. Maybe I'm wrong though. Daybreak on the fourth day, Camlin. Sun rises like a heavy lidded eye over the fields of Camlin. The crooked river after which the field is named is already red with blood. Mordred's encampment stretches across the nearby hills. Where are you, Mordred? Won't you come out to greet your father? I've come alone. There's Arthur, the doomed king himself. A dead knight. And Sir Samson. Sir Quill, you were always too careless for battle. I bring a message from Sir Mordred. Defeat is yours. Oh, so I wonder... We didn't defeat this guy, right? I wonder if we had defeated him. If he, if he wouldn't be here. Did I just kill the tents? I just killed. I didn't know that would happen. Rest in peace. <laughs> um, we change stance now. That it should come to this. Core story. How has it come to this? We can do ready to fight. End in linear stance after a diagonal move. Thrust. Strike linearly without moving. I like this. I will take your life, Arthur. I have ridden under your banner. I'll see about that. My son's army looms on the horizon. Like a black cloud. And I am but an old fool fighting to hold back the storm front. Oh, Guinevere, why could you not keep your secrets more closely? Then there is a thunder roll at Arthur's back, a storm of hooves as a band of travelers arrives, led by Guinevere. Arthur! Arthur, we have come! My queen! Can it be possible? Nice. Let's go around the other side. My Guinevere, to look at you is to dream of happier days. I dream of happier days, okay. To me. Advance a party member to your defense. So wait. So we, we lose the old skill because the story has changed. I see, so... It's not that we gain keep gaining skills because of the story changes we only we only have one active skill tier defense No <laughs> Arthur wants to sacrifice himself for a tactical advantage Um, is there anything she can do? We can back away. Okay. She needs to change stances.
Oh man, there's another one? Wait, can I- I can attack, can't I? Oh, that's really bad. I think I stay here. I can't be attacked. No, 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 no! Shit. Can't, yeah, they won't be able to charge forward to hit me. Okay, well, that's... That's a mistake. Oh, he'll be able to hit. Okay. And if I move here, I'll be attacked. Shoot. They've got me. Wait, I can move back again, can't I? No! Uh, no! No, 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 no. Can't I move? No, I... <sighs> I want to, I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, there. I can move backwards. Our morale's going down. Let's bring him. Sir Kay! All right, now we've got three. Oh, they've got four. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I don't really like our skills. Okay. We're retreating a little bit. They've got all the good spots. What if I do... So if I change stance... If I move here... We're going to be at a stalemate. Oh no. I thought I was going to take that square so I'd be able to... Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Wait. Yes. If I move here, I'll be attacked. No, no, we've got the red square. Nice. Okay, so I control all this. I'm gonna have to sacrifice myself. Someone's gonna have to get sacrificed. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's good. That changes things. Oh no, he can attack me, right? Oh, they're diagonal. They're attacking her. I could move... So if I attack them... Yeah. If I attack them, they're gonna counter-attack. So I can't really do that. I can move back though, but our morale's getting really low. Shoot. 
shit. Shit, 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 shit. I think Guinevere's gonna sacrifice herself. Thank you, Guinevere. Oh! They didn't attack. Oh, wow. They did not attack. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I did not expect that. I can't attack. They can attack me, though. I could go... If I change stance, I should take this square, though, right? This guy's covering him. Or I can move here. Oh, this is intense. Okay, we need to move forward. I'll, I'll be able to get attacked if I move here. Arthur edges between the knights. Okay. Okay. Shit. I can't move here. I can't seem to get, like, any kind of, like, advantage. Can't move here. I can't move there. They'll be attacked. Go diagonal. Or change that, yeah. But if I move here, I'm gonna take damage from this guy, or is this guy a diagonal so he can't attack? Shit. Um, I can't move forward. I can't attack. But my my morale is getting really low. No. Shoot! If I only had that cornerwise attack. It's just, they're all so well defended. Someone's gonna have to make a sacrifice. I think it's gonna be you, Sir Kay. Actually, this is really good. Now, wait. So he's defending this guy if I attack. But that opens up this square. I could, I could move her here. Charge across. Wait. Charge the far side of the board. I don't need to do that. I can just attack him. I'm attacking. We gotta break this. So Mordred will bring the harvest. <laughs> no, Sir Kay. So Mordred will be pleased. Arthur, I have let you down. For Britain. Sir Kay, no. Oh, he's actually dead. You should not have done that, Knight of Sir Mordred. 
We're moving up. Guinevere slips around the knights. Oh, there's more. Oh, shit. Now we have the high gr Oh, no. Can't move here either. I should not have changed stats. Okay. I can't charge through here. Oh my god. This is hard. Oh, I can charge through here though. There's a path uphill from here. I see someone waiting. Mordred? Do we go? I'm coming for you now, Sir Mordred. Blood is pooled around Sir Kay's chest, but Guinevere cannot stop to weep for Sir Kay. Behind, Arthur is still fighting for their lives. Just you and me then, Mordred. On the slopes above the bloody field stands a single dark knight. Oh, nice! The story's continuing. New hero discovered. That's Sir Kay! Sir Kay of Lwyn Diawid Castle, Arthur's tenacious elder brother, and a man of finer things. So we can play as Sir Kay now. Daybreak on the fourth day, Sir Mordred. Guinevere peers through the mist to see the figure beckoning with a crooked finger. The sounds of battle of the battle are lost behind her as she approaches. So if we get there as Arthur, I guess we confront Sir Mordred as, as, as Arthur. Or maybe it has to do with whoever you picked. Step forward then, monster. Show your terrible face. Greetings, mother. Do you mind me calling you mother? Perhaps you would rather I called you wife. To the death. This will be a fight to the death. Every move is made without confirmations or warnings. You disgust me. A pity. I wanted to take everything my father had. And then burn it all, of course. On high ground. Do I just hold? Can't escape. Can't we just... Do we just hold here? Your father is a thousand times the man you'll ever be. You might have learned from him, and your mother was a witch? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. That's going to make him more upset. You might have learned from him. But you were too busy sulking. Mordred sneers. I hate everything you stand for. New ability. Diagonal run. Wait. Can take an additional diagonal step. What? We're picking stuff for Sir Mordred? Now you want me to be a mother? Now you want to be a mother to me? After all this time, I'm touched. So, are we just going to stand here? We'll avoid being struck. Hunts the nearest opponent. Powerful opponent beware. Skillful. Can anticipate enemy moves. No, Mordred, I don't want to be your mother. But I wish that Arthur and I had shown you love. I want to bury you and forget the grave. But I wish that Arthur and I had shown you love. Perhaps things could have been different. I have no need for love. I have an army. A whole kingdom at my knees. If I move here, I'll be attacked. And one day, your kingdom will disappear. And you will not understand why. You're a child, Mordred. You may look like a man, but inside you is only confusion and shame. You will never outgrow it, I think. 
Mordred lasts bitterly. Oh. I will kill you. And I will take your head home with me. And I will hollow out your eyes. And keep my spoons in your skull. So if I go... If I change to this stance, we'll take over this spot. <laughs> By Pegasus Flatulence! Order exclaims in blind rage. I demand your respect. Attack diagonally. Oh no! Ha! Did you think you could best me? When I've rehearsed this moment, my ascendancy, my whole life! Okay, well this... becomes quite difficult. I have no choice, I have to move here. But then he's just gonna move here, right? Wait, uh, I can't attack him. Best you? Oh no. A child could best you, Mordred. You are nothing but a child. Use my name, damn you. I am Mordred Pendragon. Uh, yeah, but, oh, okay, 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 he can't hit me here. Just let me pass. You think you're better than me, don't you? You will think you're better than me. You all think you're better than me. Shit. I have to, I have to hold. It doesn't have to end this way. There's still, there's still time to change. Oh, this is kind of cool because now we might have a good, an ability that we can take advantage of. Uh, for Arthur and for Camelot, we've got jab, strike diagonally without moving, spin attack, spin into linear stance to attack an adjacent enemy. I don't really understand that. So if we're in diagonal stance, I can move and then spin attack. I want jab too. Do we hold again? Shit. We've got to change the story, right? I think I've got to hold again. Could it have been different, I wonder? Could we have raised you, Arthur and me? Made you whole? <laughs> you may be everything I am. Okay, if I change stance, he'll move forward. And then I can only move this way, so I'm screwed. I have to hold, I have no choice. You are trapped, Guinevere. All I have to do is whistle and my men will come. <laughs> Afraid to do it yourself? I am king. I don't need to do things myself. I, 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 there's nothing I can do! Okay, now if I go diagonal, he'll move here, right? He's diagonal. No, he's not. If I go diagonal, will that change these squares, though? I gotta try something. Yeah, I screwed up. I thought it could maybe go over here. Shit! Oh, mother. You should have married me when you had the chance. Ah, uh, <laughs> Mordred victorious. This ends here, you swine. The winner takes all. I should have just held. I should have held. So Mordred has won. Guinevere lies trodden in the earth. I shouldn't have moved into that corner too. 
The dream of Camelot lies crumbled in the ashes of Mordred's lust for power. Britain has given itself to a banner of hatred and contempt. Generations will pass before it lifts, before Britain can know honor once more. A long reach of darkness has begun. I had to wait until the story changed that I had diagonal attack and he didn't. Uh, the nunnery, Arthur, I'm coming. Oh, here's the whole story. Never stolen anything before. <laughs> That's cool. This is the kind of thing that um, Cultist Simulator didn't have, but I'm glad this does. So you can relive the whole story. We saved his life and then he died. I let you down, Sergato. I hate everything he's dead for. Oh, and this is all the. So these are all the things that like changed us. Should have married me when you had the chance. Weird, 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 weird. Fallen on the fourth day. We did make it to Mordred though. That's not bad. Oh, interesting. Difficulty Eff affects enemy cunning, likelihood of encountering allies, and food scarcity. Successful runs will unlock higher difficulty levels. So we go from anecdotal to melodramatic. So if we want to, the next time we could play as Lancelot or Sir Kay. Very, very cool. Can I go back? Oh, okay. I can't go back to the menu. I think uh, I'm going to wrap up this uh, first episode of Pendragon here. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comment section. Uh, I'd like to thank, again, I'd like to thank Inkle for the copy um, to play with all of you. I truly appreciate that. And check out in the um, description for a link to this game on Steam. If you're interested in picking it up, it will be out uh, the day this video releases. Thank you so much for watching. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now. I'll see you on the next one, and I love you all.